Hello everyone, welcome to your and our channel must watch tips, the tips that really helps you to grow. And today in this video, let us learn how to make this type of animation. So specially this type of animation is called paint brush stroke animation, which is completely built with the help of PowerPoint. So do watch this video till the end. And if you do so, then I can bet and guarantee that you can make this presentation more beautiful and awesome than me. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. So to begin with, we need fundamental of this presentation, that is a brush stroke. And these types of brush strokes are easily available on the internet, but you need to make sure that the extension of your brush stroke should be SVG. So you need to download it only in the SVG format. If you don't find SVG format brush strokes, then you can simply click on the link which is provided in the description, which will land you directly to this website onlygfx.com where there are different type of brush strokes available and that too in the SVG and PNG format. You can click on this link to download this particular brush strokes and you can use it that in your presentation. So now let us continue making this presentation. And the very first step is to add a background. So what I will do is I will go to insert and under pictures I will add background picture from this device as I have already downloaded a picture. But if you wish, you can also insert background from online pictures. But one thing you noticed is that this picture is by default not set as background. So to set this picture as a background, what we will do is, we will right click on this picture, copy this image and on the blank screen, I will right click, go to format background, I will go to picture or texture fill and click clipboard. Then I will delete this image. Now as a second step, let us add a brush stroke which we have downloaded in SVG format. So I will go to insert pictures, this device. You must have noticed that the graphic format tab is now available. So the must step you need to do is here in the change group, you have an option to convert it to shape. So you just have to click on convert to shape and this completes our second step. The third step is to add a white square behind this brush stroke. So let me go to insert and choose a rectangle exactly as the same size of the slide. Perfect. And I'll choose shape outline as none and shape fill as white. And let me just send this to back. And now let us play a little with a brush stroke. So I'll go to shape format and in shape effects let us take a shadow so you can choose whatever you want and you can format your shadow over here you can increase the transparency size and blur now what i will do is i will just rotate it a bit like this and reduce its size a bit now let me duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D. And I can arrange this multiple number of times as many I want. If you want to have just different stroke then you can rotate it 180 degree and arrange it over here. And now let us move to the very crucial step of this presentation. So I'll call this as magic step and what I'll do is I'll select all the brushes which I have created. I'll right click and go to format object and in format object there are multiple options but we need to focus on this last option slide background fill. So if I click on slide background fill here you can see the magic. So the magic is the brush strokes are filled by the pictures which is there in the background. So to verify this, let me just aside this white box a bit so you can observe that these brush strokes are filled by the image which is there in the background and this is not static. If you will move these objects or brush strokes a bit, then it will automatically set the background which is there exactly behind these objects. But the presentation is not over yet. There are few more steps left. 
The next step is to add animation to the brush strokes. So I will select all the brush strokes. I will go to animation and I will apply wipe. Perfect. And now if I click on preview, I can see that all the animations are working. But one thing you have noted that all the animations are starting from left. So I need to change directions of some brush strokes from right to left. So I will select the brush strokes which are alternate and I will go to effect options. And I will select right and now if I click on preview I can see that some are starting from left and some are starting from right but now there is still one thing left which you have to add in your animation that is the timing if I click on preview again you can see that all the animations are starting at the same time we need to add a delay in the appearance of the brush strokes one by one so here in the animation pane uh, you can see that the green bars are one above the other. Uh, so that means that the, all the animation will start at the same time. Let me select the first one, uh, the first brush stroke. And here in the timing option, uh, there are options for animation timing. So I will click after previous. And the same setting I will apply to all of these brush strokes. So what I will do is I will select all after previous. Done. And the final and last step is to add text to your presentation. So I'll just copy it and paste it over here. And congratulations, you have completed making your presentation. So let us see what we have made. And let us say if you are not satisfied with the picture which you have set in the background, no need to change all the process or no need to do the same process again which we have done till now. What you have to do is, you have to select all, bring aside all the objects which you have created and you have to right click on the blank area of a presentation and select format background and, and if you have pasted that image in your clipboard, you just need to press this button clipboard. And then you can again bring all these objects back to their position. And that's all from today's video. And before leaving, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, please consider subscribing this channel if you like the videos which are posted by us. Thank you. Have a good day.